All right, so what's up, guys? We're gonna be talking about a little product from uh, Vive la France, if you will. Yeah, 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 my accent is si magnifique. Yeah, you get it. But it's in this box right here, and I've reviewed a product from them in the past, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the, the present, if you will. And I'm back on my review game, back on giving you guys the great content that I know you love. But let's take a look at some pictures, maybe some photos about this little gem ski right here. Let's do this. Alright guys, so before we drop down to the table, I just want to say hello, hello, how you doing, how you doing, her, yeah. So, we're going to be talking about the Alliance Tech Evo, Flav Evo 22. So, I, I mean, I've reviewed products from the past. Now, this is one of the first high-end products I ever bought. Not this one right here, of course, but the Flav 24. Now, I used to like it until I really realized that I liked more of a condensed restricted vape now this was one of the first products that I bought it was expensive was what I'm trying to say so you know this one I don't know if this is really considered a v2 or it, I, I kind of feel it is different in airflow but the deck is the same they did slam the cap a lot more and I'll kind of give you a comparison between the the Flav or uh, yeah, the Flav 22 that I have uh, show you a little bit of the differences and stuff like that but um, it is different, and if you like the original ones and you like the wide open airflow, this one's a little bit different, and you're probably not going to enjoy this as much. Building it's the same, deck's the same, I'm pretty sure the diameter of the build deck is the same, um, but yeah, it is a little bit of a uh, more restrictive vape for someone who likes, you know, restrictive, and it's more up my alley than the original one, and I never reviewed the 22 millimeter that I bought. I just didn't like it. It had too much airflow for me. Now, does that mean it was a bad RDA? No. I think if you like a lot of airflow and like some uh, popping builds, then yeah, you probably like the 22 original. But yeah, let's uh, stop talking about all this nonsense and uh, let's drop down to the table. Let's do this. All right, guys. So this is the packaging the little gem ski itself comes in. Uh, typical Alliance Tech box. It is, you know, your little magnet type deal. Very classy, very clean, nothing super flashy about it. Just fingerprint magnet, if you see that. Hashtag love the prints. But yeah, just a little box, if you will. Typical box. And it says Flav Evo 20 I2. Taking a look at the inside, you have your first extra bag. And it's just some black O-rings. Now, if you can get the buried treasure out underneath, these things can be a little bit of pain in the dick. No, oh, there we go. So... We got our second extra bag, and you're going to see in this extra bag, you got some more O rings. You have your Phillips slash flathead grub screws, or just screws rather, for your uh, leads. And then you have a squonk pin. But we're going to leave it in non squonk mode for today. So this is the little gem ski itself. Um, very clean. You know, you got that matte black, I guess. I don't think it's a glossy black, to be honest. It looks like a matte black. You have your gun, your uh, shotgun style. 1.8 millimeter each airflow holes. You have your narrow inside bore, wide outside bore, proprietary drip tip, so that is a negative right there, but you know, it is what it is. It's very clean looking. It's very uh, minimalistic. I like the logoing on it. Not very deep etching on it, but it is. It's just very classy looking, I think at least. So, taking a look at the bottom, you have B hashtag 01, which means batch number one. Then you have I believe it says Alliance Tech or Flav right there, Evo 22. And you have your, I, I, I think that is gold plated, but you know, I could be wrong. That is your gold plated flathead for your 5 a 10. So taking a look at the inside of this bitch. So let's take a look at the cap first. There is no domage, so for all you domage conspiracy theorists, I'm sorry, but you ain't got none. So we do have a removable proprietary drip tip. Now, if you do have one of these, this is the Flav 22. 
this drip tip will fit in here. If you like a more wide open bore, yeah, you'll be able to use this in this. One last thing you can do, pop this thing out. Now I'm guessing this is for future uh, things they're going to make, maybe Altum ones, PMMA ones, you know, clear ones, stuff like that. I, other than that, I'm not quite sure what it's for because there's no other drip tip that'll fit in there. But yeah, fit and finish very nice, goes in nice, comes out easily. Uh, like I said, inside, no damage, so you get the deal. Taking a look at the deck of the little gem ski. Now, there is quite a difference, if you'll remember this one. This Well, not really a difference, actually. Not quite a difference, actually. But this is the Flav 22 Titanium. The only real difference is they did switch the side of the serial number, actually, if you notice that. And they did a mix between Flathead and Phillips compared to just the Flathead. Now... Everything else seems to be about the same. It looks like the space between the O-rings on this one is a little less, but that's because it's a slam cap. Now, there is a quite difference in the cap size. There is quite a difference between the cap size, if you'll see there. The uh, Flav Evo is quite a bit shorter, and, you know, the airflow is quite a bit less, you'll see there. So, yeah, I think this, this cap looks a lot nicer. So. so, taking a look at the deck, like I said... Not much of a difference between the old one and this one. You got your uh, part where you're going to put your jig through right there. And, you know, just your normal build. So, um, yeah, let's put a build on this. All right, guys. So one thing um, that can be a little bit annoying is you might have to take one of these screws out in order to get both legs in. I will say the threads on these are buttery smooth. I haven't had any issues with that. I would say that they're done very nicely. It looks like I'm going to have to take one out. Let's see, maybe I won't have to. Oh, I got through just like that. That's a good thing. Normally, I would put the belly of the coil down, but this time I decided not to do that just because I didn't feel like rewrapping my coil. Like I said, these threads are buttery smooth. You don't have to worry about that. This is probably one of the easiest RDAs to build on, and I think they might have uh, lengthened the screws on this just because, like I said before, you had to take one out but it doesn't look like you're gonna to have to with this one. Sorry about my hand in the way, but yeah, very nicely done, and it doesn't look like, on the old ones, it looked like the screw head would tilt a certain way. It doesn't look like these ones are doing that, so that's actually nice right there. Push it down a little bit. You want it to be down. This is a 3.0 inner diameter coil, so yeah, that looks good right there. Let's put some uh, some cotton in it. All right, so I'm kind of heating it up right now, and as I'm looking at it right now, I'm kind of thinking maybe a uh, 2.5 inner diameter might be a better choice, but I put a 3.0 in here just to show you that it will fit. Y you, you might have some heating issues if, if you use a 3.0. It might get your RDA a little bit too hot, but uh, nonetheless, it fits. It heats up nicely, as you can see. Looking at a side angle, right about there is where you're going to want it. you got enough space in between, I think, but I, I believe a 2.5 might be better for this type of RDA. So the juice I'm using is Wick Liquor Boulevard, if you will. It is a, a fruit a punch. A very nice fruit punch, if you will. And the cotton, as always, you guys know me. You guys know how I roll. I always use cotton bacon. And no, not Kevin Bacon. Mother effing cotton bacon. So, that being said, you don't need a lot of cotton for this one at all. This one is one of those ones where it has a very shallow deck, as you can see. Uh, not, not a lot of room for cotton, but it, it, you don't need it if you're, if you're squonking. But I'm going to be dripping anyway, but, you know, nonetheless, you don't need a ton of cotton. So just pull it through. I'll show you where you should cut it to. Just like a dad. Look how perfect that looks. And today, I brought something special. Brought my scissors. I cut it to about right there. Right there. And if you think you got too much cotton, you can always cut more. But I, I, I like to put it just like that. Right on the sides. Now, this is another reason I think why you squonk. It may leak a little bit just because it has nowhere to go. You literally have a, a condensed condensed chamber in this thing but yeah that looks good just like that get rid of this little strandy we will juice it up 
All right, one last thing I want to show you. This is something I find to be a negative. You see the airflow holes. When you're looking at it from here, it's kind of hard to tell where the airflow holes should line up. But, you know, it, it's not like a deal breaker or anything, but it's something that you should keep in mind. So, yeah, very nice looking. As far as the other one goes, it would have been about to right there. So, it is a little bit taller. And, you know, with the drip tip, it is a little bit taller. All right, guys, let's go back up on top. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to keep this short, sweet, and to the mother effing point. All right, so... When it comes to uh, Alliance Tech, I'll give you a little bit of a back briefing. They are from France, like I said, Vive les France. And um, from what I understand, everything is made in France. I don't think anything's out. I don't think anything's is made in China. I believe everything is made in house in France. Now, I, that's what I've been told, and that's all I can go off of. I don't want to make any false claims there. So, this is, uh, I think, what a lot of people would consider high end. I mean, the machining is nice, the machining is done very well, but um, I don't want to get into all that right now. I do just want to say, you know, um, as far as their customer service and everything goes, they seem to be pretty much on it. Um, like I said, it's from France, a little bit higher price, usually um, single coil things, all the time single coil things from what I understand. Um, but what I'm used to in the past with them is they have more of an open airflow style. This kind of draws that back a little bit, gives you a little bit more of that restrictive punch, which is what I like to go for. That being said, uh, let's get into some negatives and some positives, some pros, some cons, some yeses, some noses. Let's go into those. So I only got a few negatives for this thing, and the first negative to me personally, and this is like the biggest negative out of all of them, no locking mechanism. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, what's the big deal? You don't always need a locking mechanism. Well, you kind of do, because what will happen is you'll spin this after it gets a little bit of e-juice on them O-rings, a little bit lubed up, if you will, and it'll spin and spin and spin, and your RDA stays there. And then it'll lead into my next negative. It's hard to see where you're adjusting your airflow at because, you know, when when you have black on black, it's kind of hard to see where the, where the holes line up for your airflow. Now, if you had a locking mechanism, you could turn it all the way one way, fully open, it would lock, then you can adjust from there. Those are my two negatives so far. And my last one, it leaks a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Any kind of slammed side airflow RDA is going to leak a little bit. It's just the way it is. It's something that you get used to and it's something you got to relearn how to squonk because you squonk too much, it's going to leak out the airflow and it builds up around the bottom of your RDA and that happens quite often on this and it's just been an issue that I find that I have. But it's not like a game breaker or like a deal breaker if you will. So let me take a quick little puff ski. So that's going to lead me into my first positive or my first pro, if you will. Flavor. Flavor on this thing is great. It lives up to the name, the Flav. And it really lives up to the flavor. It does do, produces great flavor. I've been using this Wick Liquor Boulevard, which is a fruit punch type deal. And it's shining like ever in this thing, if you will. Uh, the next pro is going to be how easy it is to build on this. It's just, it's simple. If you don't know how to build on this thing, you need to check your life. I don't know what to tell you. Airflow is super smooth. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it. No whistling, nothing like that. Let me cut it down to one if I can see the airflow hole. Here's one. I don't necessarily think you can do a mouth along on this. You probably could get it pretty close, but it's more of a restricted type deal. You can get close to a mouth along, but I wouldn't consider it a real mouth along. Uh, if you have had any uh, Alliance Tech products in the past, this is a Flav 22 drip tip. Fits right in there, so if you want a more wide bore type deal. Then you can do that. So that's a plus right there. I like that that is the way it is. Now, unfortunately, because this is slammed, the old top caps will not fit on here, but that is what it is. I like that they kind of went with the uh, Phillips slash flathead, so you can do either. The old one, the old style, was flathead only, and I do not like flatheads. Uh, it seems like the screws are better on this one as well. I could just be saying that. I know that the... The flatheads from the Flav 22 do fit in here, so if for some reason you like flatheads, uh, they will fit in there. So some parts are interchangeable, so that's a pro right there. 
I, the fit and finish of this thing is very nice. I really like the aesthetics of it. It's very clean. Just a Lions Tech right across the front of it. And it looks very, very classy. It looks very good on this. Uh, it, it, it's a nice little mod. It's a, a nice little RDA, if you will. I really like the style. I really like the vape from it. So if you like a restrictive type vape, now these are 1.8 millimeter airflow holes. I should have told you that below. If I didn't, then I apologize. But if you like, this is the basic 1.1. It's similar to a basic 1.1 draw as far as airflow goes. So if you like that, that restrictiveness, you're gonna like this. Now, if you like the old products, I don't necessarily think that this is for you because the old ones were very wide open. I don't know, this is the old one. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear the airflow difference. But it's very wide open in terms of airflow. But if you like Alliance Tech, this is the same old Alliance Tech. You know what you're getting. You're getting that hitter and that's it. So that being said, guys, if you do like a restrictive slammed type RDA, then this thing is for you for sure. There's really not a lot of negatives to it. I mean, the price may be a negative to some of you. I, I believe it was in that 140-ish range. So that's standard stuff for high end. But yeah, I, I recommend this. If you like a restrictive vape, this thing knocks it out of the park. That being said, guys, y y you want some cotton? Maybe some e-juice? Maybe some, some tweezers? Why don't you check out Premium Vape Supply and use my discount code? Whether that's here, or here, or here, one last place, here. And get 20% off your whole purchase. Yes, I said it, your whole purchase. Uh, that being said, guys, uh, I'm trying to get back into the review game. I might be a little off today. I tried to uh, get back into the swing of things. It can be a little difficult sometimes. So I do appreciate you guys that have stuck around for me and supported me. It means a lot to me. Uh, yeah, so Mondays, come check us out. Myself, Eric the Vaping Politician, and Mr. William himself from Cooper's Vaping View, and most times, a guest. So come check us out. Come BS with us. We like to just, you know, kick it, make fun of each other, talk BS. You know what I'm saying? But that being said, this was the Alliance Tech Evo, Flav Evo 22. And I recommend it. You know, what else can I say? Just buy the damn thing. Let's do this.